So this is the latest model of the uh, SDI 12 USB adapter. Um, this is the other uh, uh, February 2021 model. So it might be hard to see that. Uh, it's right here, February 2021. So let's uh, take a look at this uh, adapter, uh, how it differs from previous versions. The size wise is still the same size. So this is about five centimeters wide or a just a tidbit short of two inches wide. Uh, it's a square shape and uh, the, uh, the mounting holes are all in the same locations and um, I now have a, a file with, with the exact dimensions of everything including the, uh, the mounting holes so let's take a look around the adapter now so first we can start from this corner here this is the uh, uh, mini USB connector I chose this against the uh, micro USB because it's a little more stable uh, uh, and uh, and now we have a slightly newer version of the uh, FT series of uh, USB to uh, to to TTL adapter. So this is a slightly new chip. It's just a little smaller in size. And uh, and next to it, this is the processor, the uh, the 80 mega 328, same processor. Uh, we also have a crystal for for high uh, high uh, 16 uh, megahertz high precision. So um, Starting from here, these are the SDI 12 connectors. We have one, two, three, four, four of them. And this one is not an SDI 12 connector. Um, this has been upgraded from the uh, the smaller uh, 0.1 inch or uh, uh, the 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 uh, the uh, this ones. Let's just point at these ones. The the smaller spacing ones to the slightly larger spacing, uh, 0.15 inches. So they're they're a bit easier to to fit the uh, the wires wire leads into. So these are the the adapters. So if you wonder how to hook them up, um, there are uh, markings in the back. So there's minus signal and plus on all of these. So these are the SDI 12 connections, and uh, let's keep going around the edges. These are the optional connections for analog or digital inputs. And for analog inputs, these are up to 10 bit of precision, and it also depends on the USB power's voltage. So the accuracy is not very good. And um, these are just for very simple readouts for analog. And you can also use them for digital signals such as on off high low readouts, or you can use them as, as uh, frequency counters to count uh, things such as flow meters, and also ring gauges, you can use them to count ring gauges tipping uh, spoons. So uh, these are rather useful. They basically come in free and you can solder a connector yourself, a 12 pole, a 0.1 inch uh, distance um, terminal block, then it's basically free for you. And okay, here, this one I wasn't introducing earlier was the uh, external power connection. So, um, Flip to the back. There's a plus and a minus. So this you can hook up your uh, your 12 volt battery, for example, and uh, and then you you can move this external or internal power, uh, which one to deliver to the SDI 12 sensors. So at the moment, this uh, this jumper here, it's um it's on the uh, here's a marking a five volt. It's on the five volt side. So all of the SDI 12 plus signs will actually get voltage from the USB. This works for the majority of SDI 12 sensors, but for some sensors that uh, specify they have to have at least 9 volts, if not 12 volts, then you need to supply that voltage here, and then just move that jumper to the uh, to the lower position that says EX, external, so that will be external power that sends over to these connectors. But these plus signs over here, just to uh, denote these plus signs are always going to be the, the nominal 5 volt from USB. They uh, they do not take power from here. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we have not introduced. Okay, here is an optional uh, extender port. So um, these are mostly shipped without this extender, extender port um, connected. But uh, if you order any uh, extension boards, you'll, you'll have a small um, 8 pin header that you can easily solder to this board to make connections and this one is a serial port it is optional um, if you want a serial port that communicates with for example an Arduino or maybe a MicroPython board then you can order that 
um, and uh, the serial version will not come with these uh, the connection, USB connection, also the USB chip anymore will come with uh, this connection on the uh, on the bottom with the right angle um, pins and also with uh, with six uh, six jumper wires that you can connect to. So that is an option and it works for both five volts right here. Uh, this this is the uh, let's see TX five volt right here this pin and also TX 3.3 volt or 3 volt. So depending on your uh, your board's logic, if you want to use TDL instead of the, the easy USB connection, uh, you may want to pick between these two, which one is your board's logic. Okay, so let's see what else we haven't covered yet. Okay, here, uh, this green little uh, chip here is the uh, USB fuse. So just in case you short circuit the power, the 5 volt with ground, this protects your your upstream device, your computer, or Raspberry Pi, from uh, from short circuiting, and it is a, a poly fuse. So if you short circuit it, and then you remove your short circuit, this will recover, and you'll you'll still be able to use the board. Um, and let's see what else I haven't introduced yet. Um, here is a, a spot, an optional spot for a transceiver. So if you have the need for a transceiver, something that would require a very long cable and, and such. Um, and then you could special order this. I can put that onto the the board to the user transceiver, and uh, and by default the um, it is the uh, the SDI twelve is driven by one of these pins here from the processor, and this has worked extremely well for a a large number of uh, SDI sensors with uh, with moderate to long cables. But this is just in case uh, your application requires very long cables. Um, and uh, let's see here. I have added a um, a dial. This dial is for protection, so it uh, it protects the SDI twelve pin, uh, the signal pin, the middle pin, um, against uh, against short circuiting. So sometimes it, it is, um, uh, for example, it could be lightning. Uh, other times it could be just uh, a um, just occasional. Uh, short circuit if you say if you were working on a circuit board you forgot to unplug the power and uh, the SDI um, pin somehow connects to to the power either a uh, 5 volt or, or maybe it's kernel power that could uh, destroy this chip or at least the pin that drives the SDI 12 bus but with this it will not happen um, so that is the, uh, the additional thing here I also added another resistor here inline resistor to better protect the SDI 12 bus. So um, this is, as I said, is uh, the, the latest version. So it has all the uh, nice features already integrated, but uh, it works the same way as all the uh, the previous versions. Uh, you just um, basically you send command and then you receive data. Thank you.